In our twentieth uh, exercise, uh, we 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 will continue to work on this uh, object. So, if you like, you can fix your nineteenth uh, exercise drawing paper or your table and uh, tape uh, a, a, a one sheet of A4 sketching paper over your drawing paper, the nineteenth exercise. So, you you can uh, use the, uh, the your previous exercise as a guiding. Uh, as a reference, and it will be easier for you uh, because in this 20th exercise, we are asked to draw one plan uh, and two sections of this uh, object. And uh, they remi reminded us that the, uh, we shouldn't forget that each side has three millimeter thickness again. Uh, so we can start uh, by with um, drawing the plan. Uh, and in order to do the, that, we need to uh, uh, we need to um, indicate the positions of these cutting uh, planes. As you can remember, when we say plan, uh, we use a, a horizontal surface to cut this object in half uh, horizontally. Uh, and uh, we need to uh, step uh, between the cut surfaces and look down uh, and draw what we see. Uh, so they gave uh, a six centimeter level for the position of this uh, horizontal cutting plane. Uh, you remember that we positioned our drawing in the 19th exercise uh, uh, with this two millimeter, uh, two centimeter level. So uh, for the position of this horizontal cutting plane, we need to measure a six centimeter uh, either from starting from this horizontal projection plane in total six centimeters, or we can uh, measure a four centimeter uh, height uh, to find this uh, line here. That's the position of our horizontal cutting plane. And we need to uh, indicate it. Uh, we can draw this over our sketching paper by using this, this uh, section line here. However, please do not forget, uh, we need to draw a very thick and black line, at least twice the size of this uh, lines uh, here, which we use to indicate surfaces that we see here. Uh, and now we, are, we, are, we will be dealing with cut surfaces. So we are going to use this thickness, this line weight here. Uh, and we need to indicate it, uh, we need to put this line over the front view and left side view and put little triangles to indicate we will be looking downwards. Uh, and for the sections, uh, they gave us a four centimeter for the interval for the first section and a four centimeter distance for the second section. Uh, as you can remember, we placed our top view with a 1.5 centimeter interval. So uh, e either you can measure a four centimeter uh, gap to place your first a, a section line here, or you can just, if you want, uh, you can, measure a 2.5 centimeter gap uh, starting from this uh, back edge of this green uh, square uh, and do the same uh, for the second uh, section line. Uh, you can either uh, measure a four centimeter total distance to find the position of your uh, BB section line uh, or just measure a 2.5 centimeter starting from this back edge here. Uh, and you should uh, create these two lines uh, here on the front view uh, with BB section line and uh, with AA section line, you need to go to the left side view. Uh, you can just transfer it uh, using the top view here uh, and this one here. And so once you, uh, draw these uh, section lines, which indicate the cut surfaces, cut planes, cutting planes, the, their positions. Uh, we can start by uh, drawing the plan here. As you can remember, we positioned this uh, red cutting line. We cut the object in half horizontally and elevate the upper part. And we need to step between these cut surfaces and look down and draw what we see. Now we have these cut surfaces, each have three millimeter thickness on each side. Uh, however, because of the position of this 
uh, inclined surface, this uh, cut surface appears larger than three millimeters uh, here. Uh, and then uh, we can draw uh, after finishing, uh, after we finish this draw, uh, cut surfaces, drawing cut surfaces, we can draw the surfaces that we see, this red surface here and the green surface here. Uh, with the help of sketching paper, we can copy them uh, from our 19th exercise. Uh, so uh, this is uh, our uh, 19th exercise that we can see it here. Uh, and we, because we positioned the uh, cut surface, uh, the section line here, we can transfer this uh, exact same position, the exact uh, same uh, uh, surface uh, by using the left side of view, uh, we need to transfer it backwards to the top view. Uh, as you can see, this side here, because of its position, because it's a perpendicular uh, plane, uh, when we cut it with a horizontal plane, we, that appears, the cut surface appears as a three millimeter thickness. It, uh, it overlaps with the uh, 19th exercise. Uh, however, uh, when we intersect uh, this horizontal plane with the inclined uh, surface here, uh, the cut surface appears larger than uh, three millimeters. Here you can see it. Uh, and uh, by using our sketch paper, we can copy it, uh, copy the other uh, lines. So we don't need to measure them um, one more time. However, please be careful. When we are drawing the cut surfaces, we need to use the thick, very thick and very black line uh, type. Uh, that's very important. Uh, and after th the finishing these uh, cut surfaces, the edges of these cut surfaces, uh, we can draw the rest uh, uh, as the scene uh, surface, uh, again, with middle thickness, middle darkness line type. Uh, and here again, uh, we, we can see the screen surface as well. So we need to use the same line type uh, and we can color uh, them. Uh, like we did in our previous exercise. Uh, since, because we cut the surface, uh, we can see the bottom surface of uh, this prism. Uh, so you can color it uh, by using a yellow color. Uh, here, uh, we can indicate the rest uh, of the uh, open volume, the empty volume uh, with these dashed lines. Uh, here, you can see the uh, opening has been indicated and you can do uh, that hatch we did uh, last week uh, to effectuate, to uh, emphasize these cut surfaces uh, as well. Uh, so this is the end of our plan. However, uh, when we look uh, at this plan, uh, we know that everything is correct. Everything, uh, uh, we did uh, everything uh, correctly. Uh, However, uh, a viewer uh, who will not see the uh, exact, uh, the true uh, 3D uh, object itself, uh, they may get confused here. Uh, when they look at this uh, drawing, they cannot be able to understand what kind of an object this is. Uh, they will see a, a three millimeter thick sides uh, in the in here here and here however when they look this th thicker side they cannot understand uh, just imagine yourself you are not seeing uh, this 3d image here uh, and uh, you are just looking at this uh, drawing here it's very hard for you to understand what kind of an object this is and uh, again, uh, I'm going to block this on here so that you, you can understand uh, in a better way. Uh, yeah, this, this white surface. Uh, okay. Uh, when you look at this, you may think that this is an object like this. 
uh, with three millimeter thick sides on its four th three sides. However, uh, this side is thicker than it. So you may think that it is an object like that, right? With a red surface here, you, you cannot notice uh, if it's an inclined surface or uh, another horizontal surface or what kind of a surface uh, it is. Uh, it's normal for you to get confused uh, if you don't uh, have anything else, if you are just looking at a plan, uh, you, you may think that this is a, an object like that uh, here uh, with a uh, red surface here. So uh, if we want to get rid of that confusion, uh, if we want to avoid a, a problem like this, uh, there is another uh, method, there is a trick that we can use uh, in, instead of uh, creating a thick cut surface here, we can just draw an inclined line, a very thick inclined line, as you can see here on the screen, uh, which is a little uh, out of the intersection point, uh, a very thick uh, inclined line. Uh, and uh, this line will represent this uh, thick cut surface. Uh, and because it is inclined, uh, people will understand that this red surface is an inclined surface that continues to raise. However, at this point, it was cut by a red uh, cutting horizontal surface. And this part here is the cut surface here, as you can see, and the yellow inside part here. Uh, and this part here is the scene surface. Uh, so this is a nice way to indicate it. Uh, if we are cutting uh, an inclined surface with an horizontal plane, uh, and if we want to uh, avoid that confusion, uh, we can use this inclined thick line to represent this cut surface so that people can understand this red surface. While it was raising above this red surface, it has been cut by a horizontal surface uh, in half. And they are looking at plan here uh, and top view here. Uh, they will understand. So uh, this is our plan. Uh, and after that, uh, we can, uh, and please do not forget, the level of the plan is very important. Let's say that in the question, uh, the, the level uh, is not six uh, centimeters, it's like uh, two centimeters, like that. Then the whole drawing changes. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are not uh, dealing uh, the, with the red surface any more if the plan level is like this. Uh, however, we will cut through this opening uh, here and looking down uh, and it'll change. Uh, so uh, in, in near, near future, we will uh, start drawing the actual buildings uh, so uh, for every floor plan, we need to change the level of uh, that cutting surface, as you can see here on this animation. Uh, there is this building. Uh, it has like uh, eight or 10 uh, stories. Uh, and to draw uh, the floor plan of every floor, we need to have a new plan uh, level. And uh, we need to change that level to see what's going on inside that floor. Uh, this is uh, something we need to keep in mind. Here, you see the total building. If you cut it uh, at this level, you will find the up upper floor plan. Uh, if you cut it uh, here in this level, you will find the ground floor plan and it goes like that. Uh, okay, uh, so we can continue. Uh, they gave us, they told us to draw two sections 
uh, normally we draw this AA section first. However, this time we need to draw the BB section uh, before AA section, uh, again, because of this inclined red surface. Uh, let's do this together. Uh, for that, we need to remember that this distance was four centimeters. Uh, the, positions, the position of this vertical cutting surface uh, is four centimeters from this profile projecting plane. So this is our section line here. Uh, we need to uh, start by cutting this green surface. Uh, so we need to transfer these uh, lines here. And with the help of our sketch paper, we can copy it uh, beneath. However, we need to use very thick and black lines. Please don't forget because it's the cut surface of this green square. And we can move on to this prism. Uh, first, we can uh, transfer this three millimeter thickness. And then we can, by using this test lines, we can transfer this side here. Uh, and we know, know that uh, this yellow surface is three millimeters higher than the green surface. Uh, so we can copy it beneath uh, our sketching paper. And we again know that this red surface has a three millimeter thickness, so we can copy it from uh, uh, the 19th exercise as well. Uh, however, we need to draw very black and thick lines and do the hatch to indicate the cut surface here. Uh, and since this opening is behind us, uh, as you remember, we just do this cutting, we uh, use this horizontal cutting surface. Uh, sorry, not like that, okay. Yeah, uh, we, we use this horizontal cutting surface. We cut it through uh, here uh, and look towards this direction. Uh, this opening is behind us now, so we cannot see it uh, actually. So uh, we can just uh, transfer this uh, here towards the profile projecting plane uh, and use dashed lines line uh, again to indicate that that's behind us. Uh, and once we finish this uh, left side, uh, sorry, EB section, uh, now we can do the AA section easily. Uh, and again, please do not forget the position of your section line or your vertical cutting plane is important. Uh, is it chains? the cut surfaces change. And uh, this is what we do uh, to see what is going on inside the object. Uh, otherwise, if we just uh, do the elevations, the uh, views, the front view, the top view, we cannot understand what is inside the object. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, we can now do the AA section. Uh, you remember that we positioned it uh, like this using this four centimeter no, uh, information. First, I cut the uh, green surface and uh, draw it with uh, very thick and black lines. Uh, and after that, I know that I'm cutting this orange surface and the back surface here, so I, I can transfer uh, it by using my guiding lines. However, I don't know uh, the position of this uh, height here, uh, because I cannot see, uh, sorry, I, I cannot measure it uh, like that. If this uh, uh, plane moves, then uh, the height of this cutting surface may change. So I, I need to be sure. How can I find it? And this is why we did the uh, BB section first, so that we can find the position of AA section line here. And then we can transfer this information towards the AA section. Uh, and we did uh, so that we can do this uh, drawing correctly. Uh, so this is what we will do. We, we are going to transfer this AA section line to the BB section, section drawing in order to find this intersection here. This is uh, where the cutting occurs. Uh, the, the horizontal plane, uh, sorry, the vertical plane cut this uh, object right 
here, their intersection indicates uh, the cut cut surfaces of uh, a a section. Here you can draw it easily now, and if you uh, it looks very close. Uh, to three millimeters, but you can make sure that it is a little bit higher than three millimeters because of this inclined surface. Uh, and uh, here you can see that we are cutting through the opening. So uh, this is not true. This is uh, this. It needs to be like this because there's nothing to cut here. It's just an uh, emptiness, a void. Uh, here, so uh, we are cutting through the orange surface uh, till we uh, meet the uh, find the red surface here, uh, and then we cut uh, vertically at the back side, and we cut the uh, yellow surface here. Uh, and uh, once we finish the all the cutted surfaces, all everything, uh, we can move on to the surfaces that we see here. Uh, we will be seeing a little part of this red surface uh, and this back uh, edge here, this white surface, uh, and I just left two tiny gaps so that I, uh, that, that I, I can indicate that there is this interval difference between this cut surface and the back surface there. Uh, and here, if I just transfer this uh, information in this, this height here, I can find the end of this red surface, the top edge, uh, so uh, people can understand that after it's, it has been cut uh, vertically, it uh, continues to, uh, to raise uh, till it finds the uh, top edge here. Uh, and also I can uh, transfer this to indicate the, as you can see here, the inner edge uh, of the surface. And here, if I just transfer this here, uh, I will be showing uh, with dashed lines again, I will be showing the intersection of blue and red surfaces. It is behind me because uh, that's the reason why I use the dashed lines uh, here. Uh, and that will be all. Uh, and uh, now I can write uh, the names of these uh, drawings. Uh, here I need to write, this is a a section, however I can use. Uh, sorry, yeah, I can use. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, a a section, uh, and this is b b section. Section, uh, and this is the plan. So that'll be all.